If you don't know who your brewer is at your brewery, then what are you doing? Uh, no. We've got a big one. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Beverage Hunters, I'm Justin. I'm Dave. We've got our last beer from Old 99. The brewers at Old 99. Yeah. And Special we are going gifts. for the win here. For the win! <laughs> uh, here it is, yep, that's right. It is called For, for the, the win. win. For those of you not uh, around here or know, anyth or know of anything about Old 99, this mm -hmm. is their, I would say their flagship beer. I would guess it is. It's definitely the most popular. It's the one you're gonna find everywhere on tap. Yes, for the win. This is their IPA mm -hmm. uh, coming at 7%, and you can pick it up in most stores around here. It is a black can with their logo on the front. It looks so cool. It does. I do like their logo, man. And this can obviously stands out black and white. You can't yeah. really go, uh, can't go wrong with that. Uh, 12 ounce cans. You can pick these up in six packs. I think that's the only way you can do it. Yep, that's correct. Uh, so here we go. Subscribe, <laughs> like, let us know what your favorite beer is from Old 99. And uh, let's try the old let's for the win. Go for the win here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bless me. Holy yeah. God. Look at that. 7% for the win. Beautiful color. I mean, you can see through it, but just mm -hmm. barely. It's got just enough haze in there to tell you this is going to be a thick, a thick <clears throat> IPA. Again, uh, Bigfoot Beverages uh, here locally. They're the ones who distribute these guys. So you can find it in stores all around the area, um, as far north as Eugene, maybe a little farther north. Yeah. And south, I think you can get in Medford. Probably so. Uh, let us know if you found it anywhere else other than Oregon. Comment below. But yep, here yep, this one of is. Of course, you know, there are tap rooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and They just State. opened a new tap room, yeah, up there yeah, in Eugene. Yeah. So it's super cool to have uh, you folks in Eugene getting their mm -hmm. fresh beer up there. You know, that's the first Roseburg brewery to venture to That is to true. That is true. So first Roseburg brewery up in Eugene. Quite an accomplishment. We have another Roseburg brewery in Bandon over on the coast. Yeah. And but this is the first one up north yep. in the big boys, the big yeah. town. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get <laughs> it on the nose, Dave. Oh, a delicious scent of citrus. Mm. IPA, hoppy, yeah. it's like a, a good dull kind balance. of a... It's a good balance of the citrus and the citrus and the malt in there. Yes. <clears throat> you can tell it's a very good rounded IPA. Hints of a hazy. Hints just of a hints. hazy. Yeah, just hints. And it's almost a little hazy. Just, just a little, little bit. On, on just a little bit. Uh, just a little. <clears throat> so this looks like it's going to be a, a, a man's IPA. Yes. <laughs> uh, does it have a... Any, what's the IBUs? What's the IBUs on this? What's the SRM, Dave? <laughs> I think <sighs> only Rogue gives us that information. Ah, you're probably right. They, they don't tell us. I'm gonna go SRM 15. <laughs> 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 we'll tell you what the IBUs are in a second. Let's do it, yeah, Dave. Sure. For the win! <laughs> wow, IBUs are probably low in the 20s. <laughs> Super yeah, easy I would to say drink. probably in the 50s. 50s? Yeah, I mean, you're not going to get an, IB, an IPA maybe, in the 20s. Uh, no, <laughs> yes, we've had a few. This is maybe 30s. 40s, probably. I've seen some 40s. Yeah, sure. What's the IBUs? What's the IBUs? I'm going to guess like smooth. 55. No, 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 no. This 55. is like 41. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on one second. That doesn't say. Yeah, we're not views. Seven percent, man. Oh, this cool. is uh, could be dangerous because it's a mood. It's, it's a good all-around basic IPA. I would say it's easier to drink than a basic IPA because the back end is yeah, it, it goes away and cleans yeah, up. It does. And it leaves your mouth wanting some more. Like you're not gonna sit there and be like, ah, let me take a second to mm -hmm. process that. Like, this no. one is clean, goes away. You're ready for another drink. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Up front, it hits you with a uh, like a bright, a bright citrus hit, mm -hmm. and then yeah. you, it kind of cleans up with that IPA, and then it dissipates. And give it a few and seconds. This nice kind of citrus 
back in just yeah. a nice yeah it kind of dissipates just completely cleans completely. your palate it does it's a palate cleaner ipa yeah <laughs> there you go <laughs> uh but it's so easy to drink and light mm -hmm. i can see why this is their biggest seller this was i believe this was their first one they started canning yeah if that I'm not, if i'm the pilsner the pilsner? is it the pilsner the one in the white can i think so yeah are there Kolsch? Do they have Kolsch? I think it's Pilsner. I think it's Pilsner. Uh, hope we don't low. sound stupid here. But. We probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, this one I know for sure was one of their first ones they started canning. And yep. it's delicious, man. Uh, let's read the back of this. It all started with a quest to find the perfect Northwest style IPA. The Brew Crew ran a series of experimental IPAs, mm -hmm. each with their own strengths. On the 10th brew, we had all the intel needed to pull off a win. Stupid fly. <laughs> oh. Bless you, my son. Oh, I'm allergic to winning. <laughs> For the win IPA was born, a true Northwest style uh, India pale ale. What, with only the good stuff, offering a subtle malt sweetness, mm -hmm. called that one, yep. with a five hop blend, adding just the right amount of bitterness and aroma. Nice. Right on. Drinking a great IPA is a choice. Choose wisely for the win IPA. So if you want a good IPA for the win. And for the win, what kind of winning scores we got for that? Eight six. Eight, six. Wow. eight six. Eight six. For an IPA. Yeah. For the win. Mm -hmm. Eight six. And there's a lot of IPAs out there. I'm gonna go eight seven, Dave. Whoa! <laughs> you one up me. <laughs> I, yeah, I love that haziness it has. Uh -huh. I love the hazy characteristics this has. Mm -hmm. uh, it definitely reminds me of a hazy, and I really like this beer. Yeah, it's a good one. Easy to drink. Like I said, I drink it quite often. You know, throughout the week, because it's on tap at a Dave lot of places around. I go. Yeah. Dave's a brewery whore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> brewery whore. Oh, <laughs> uh, So, guys, for, uh, Dave actually runs the Facebook page, so in case you all didn't know that. So, you're going to see some more videos from Dave soon. Yeah. Yeah. We're it's hooking him up with some yeah. stuff. He's going to start making videos. I'm mm -hmm. excited to see those, Dave. It's going to be fun. I got a lot of crazy stuff at home, too. Yeah, people want to see you do good on the channel, Dave. So let's do it. You're going to be the man. Uh, all right. So there you have it. The four, the win. Hey, you can pick it up at six packs all over the, t all over, all, blah, 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 all over the place. Wherever Bigfoot distributes. Yeah. Uh, go give it a try. Stop by the Tap House. Tell them Beverage Hunter sent mm -hmm. you. Stay tuned for more updates. Uh, go to our the Facebook page and the Instagram. We will let you guys know when yep. we are doing our premiere party over at the Tap House. It should be fun. Live music, giveaways. Don't want to miss it. We'll see you there. Have a good night. For the win. For the win. Drink local. All right. Thank you, Asher. And uh, go support your local brewer. If you don't know who your brewer is at your brewery, then what are you doing? Uh, no kidding. Unbelievable. <laughs> know your brewer and buy him a beer. <laughs>